This is the LiveScribe Echo Smart Pen. Here's the tip. Here's the screen, which is the display. And here's the power button. Here's the notepad that goes with the Echo LiveScribe Smart Pen. You must use this notebook when using the Smart Pen. At the bottom of each page is a menu of options. You can record, pause, stop, jump from section to section, bookmark your favorites or important pieces of information, toggle on the menu using these arrows, and on this side of the page you can jump to a certain position within the audio, adjust the playback speed and the volume. You might be wondering, what audio? Well, the LiveScribe pen is special. Here you can see I've removed the cap of the pen, and you'll also see that I've drawn a picture on the paper in the notebook. But this just isn't any picture. This is a special picture with audio attached to it. There are many uses for this type of technology in the classroom, and I'll show you one of them. While I was drawing this picture with this smart pen, I was singing songs about each of the symbols and pictures on the page. I sang Twinkle Twinkle Little Star when I was drawing the stars, Mr. Sun when I was drawing the sun, and there is a tree mentioned in the Mr. Sun song, how much is that doggy in the window when I draw this raccoon looking dog? And then I spoke the end. I read those two words. Now the pen is on and I will play back what I mean. Pretty cool, hey? Sorry about the monotone singing voice that was totally off key. I take the content from the LiveScribe pen and transfer it onto our computer. So make sure the pen is off. Plug the small end of the USB connector cable into the end of the pen and the large end into the USB port on your computer. The computer's now detected the smart pen and will shortly tell us that it's processing. Now we're going to go over to the LiveScribe software, which is pre-installed on the computer, and see if they have, ta-da, transferred the file over. So we can look, here it is. Witness the same content that was created in the LiveScribe notebook is now up on the screen. What we want to do is save it as a pencast PDF onto the computer. So we're going to scroll down to send page 4 to, and we're going to select computer. It's pre-selected as pencast PDF, which is the format we'd like it in, and we do want to save the page with the recorded audio. You can pick a home for it. For now, I'm just going to put it on the desktop, and I want to call it student lesson. And there it is. If I open it up as a PDF, we can see the lesson. We can even play the audio.